Hi everyone! The time has come for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide. I have lots of information to share about upcoming games for Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. Up first, some Nintendo 3DS headlines. It's the biggest collection in this microgame series. The latest in the WarioWare series is coming to the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. Which means, there's a new way to play Wario's strangely satisfying microgames. With classics and new additions, there are 300 microgames to enjoy, making this the biggest entry in the series. Press buttons. Tilt the system, use the touchscreen, and microphone. Only Wario could come up with this many control schemes. Think fast, what playstyle is required for this one? Better figure it out, and dig that crazy action while it's hot. Hey, some familiar characters are rocking new looks. This is the most jam-packed game in the series yet. Just look at that face. Even Wario can't contain his wicked grin. WarioWare Gold launches August 3rd. Get ready for pulse-pounding post-apocalyptic races and battles. Race down enemy Groks and rock them in battle to defend frontier villages. Yes, sir. Action meets tower defense in Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers. This time, the Red Flash himself, Dylan, will team up with your own animalized me character. Be strategic and use your whole team. What in tarnation? Your friend's me characters can join the team as gunners. Well, you'll need their help to face each wave of transforming monsters. Who or what will you and Dylan get tangled up with? Never mind that. There's an enemy invasion to stop and a frontier in desperate need of some heroes. A demo version of the game will be available for download May 10th. The whole game, Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers, rolls into Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS May 24th. Are the brothers and Bowser still better together? Nintendo DS classic Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story is back for more gut-busting adventures. Mario & Luigi have been tasked with finding a cure for the Blorbs, a disease threatening all life in the Mushroom Kingdom. But, thanks to Fawful, both brothers have been devoured by Bowser, and so their journey takes them deep into the belly of the beast, leaving Bowser to scour the kingdom for the cure. The only way forward is to change between the bros and Bowser. The big bad will even beef up for monstrous boss battles fit for a king. Take him down in this action-packed RPG. And, uh-oh. Looks like his boy wants in on the action. Find out what happens behind the scenes in the untold story of Bowser Jr. When Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey launches in 2019. Here's the scoop on Detective Pikachu, plus a new amiibo. Something about this Pikachu is a little different. He's gruff. You agree with me, don't you? Runs his mouth. Hey, don't boss me around. Likes coffee. This hi-hat blend is as delicious as ever and no one knows why. Welcome to Rhyme City, where humans and Pokemon usually live in harmony. But recently, Pokemon have been behaving oddly and running amok. So there's a fake Luckily, a boy named Tim and Detective Pikachu are on the case, facing each mystery head on. A quick attack! Oh, oh, oh. How was that? Did I do it? As of today, the game is available for pre-purchase in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. Crack the case with Detective Pikachu when the game launches March 23rd. Plus, keep your eyes peeled for this extra-large Detective Pikachu amiibo figure, which launches the same day. That mysterious mansion has reappeared in the Nintendo 3DS remake.
Nintendo GameCube classic Luigi's Mansion has been remade for Nintendo 3DS. Fans of the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon game can now explore the original mansion where Mario went missing. Luigi's something of a scaredy cat, but these classic ghosts and traps are no match for his vacuum cleaner. Besides, the mansion's map will be displayed on the bottom screen. If you work up the courage, fight the ghosts of your past battles in the new boss rush mode. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion for Nintendo 3DS launches this year. That's all for Nintendo 3DS. So far, so good? Well, let's keep the headlines coming. It's time for Nintendo Switch. Kirby can even make friends with those characters? Kirby's Star Allies finally launches next week. As you fight through your adventure, you'll reach dream palaces where, surprise, even fan favorite legacy characters can become Kirby's friends. Well, dream friends anyway. When you're saving the world, it's nice to have some heavy hitters on your side, even the likes of King Dedede, Meta Knight, and Bandana Waddle Dee. Eventually, more Dream Friends will be added to the game via free updates after launch. The first update will include Rick, Kine, and Koo. Marks and Gooey. It's like a dream come true to bring this ragtag crew of characters together from across the Kirby series. Kirby Star Allies launches on Nintendo Switch March 16th, and the first free update will be available March 28th. Oh yeah, a quick reminder, a free demo is available now in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. What else are friends for? An epic tale returns with new artistic touches. Okami, the grand adventure in classical Japanese style, rises again in the HD version. To save the land from a terrible curse, the legendary Okami Amaterasu was resurrected, setting off on a quest with the wandering artist Isu. Overcome challenges using the power of the gods, the celestial brush. With mere brush strokes, you can make a variety of miracles come to fruition. In the Nintendo Switch version, use touchscreen control in handheld mode, or use the Joy-Con controller's motion controls in TV mode or tabletop mode. Both methods offer an intuitive way to solve puzzles and defeat your foes. Meet an eclectic cast, solve mysteries, and slay countless monsters to discover what awaits at your journey's end. Okami HD launches on Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch this summer. Eat up and throw sushi on Nintendo Switch? An adventure unlike any other. With conveyor belt sushi action, it's Sushi Striker, the way of Sushido. The story takes place after the bitter sushi struggles. Raised in a world where sushi is forbidden, Musashi must wage all-out conveyor belt sushi battles to defeat the Empire and topple its sushi monopoly. The gameplay is deep, but the basics are simple. Just eat more and more sushi to pile up plates of matching colors on a table, then throw them all at your opponent. Mix up your strategies to crush your enemies. If you manage to pull off a special move created by one of your sushi sprites, you may be able to get the upper hand in battle. Of course, there's a multiplayer mode too. Battling fellow Sushi Strikers online can get intense. Sushi Striker, The Way of Sushido launches simultaneously on Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS June 8th. More travelers, more details, and more launch info. Hello, this is Masashi Takahashi from Square Enix. Today, I have three news items to share with you. First, I'd like to introduce two more main characters. What lies beyond the horizon? Meet Tressa the Merchant. She sets off to find her own adventure and gain experience in her job. Her path action is Purchase, which means she can obtain special items from townsfolk. 
I helped out someone in a bind. Simple as that. And this is Alfin, the apothecary. He embarks on his journey to heal those suffering across the continent. His path action is Inquire. He can warm out info others aren't privy to in standard conversations. Next, let's talk about jobs in battle. Characters start out with a base job, but they can equip an additional job to use in battle. For instance, if another character like the Merchant Tressa equips the Dancer job, the combined jobs and abilities expand your strategic options. Finally, we know many of you have been wondering about the release date. The game launches July 13th. Additionally, we will be offering a special edition of the game. Inside, you'll find a pop-up book introducing the eight characters and their places of origin, a helpful map for your adventure, a sound selection CD, and a replica coin based on the in-game currency. This special edition will be released the same day as the regular version of the game. Your comments have provided the development team with reference points and inspiration as we head into the home stretch of our work with the game. Please look forward to the release of Octopath Traveler. What happens when an otaku assassin enters the game world? The legendary gaming console, the Death Drive Mark II. Travis Touchdown wanders into the game world and embarks on a rampage of epic proportions. Inside, there's an action game, racing, puzzles, a total of seven different game titles. With his beam katana in hand, he vows to exterminate every last bug he finds. Chain his simple yet exhilarating basic attacks and his arsenal of skill attacks to cut them down to size. A brutal boss lurks at the end of each game. Creatively combine your moves to crush them. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for co-op multiplayer. And partner up with the one and only Badman. Did we mention the adventure mode which tells a new story? Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch in 2018. In Dark Souls, every challenge is an opportunity. Plus, Amiibo. Dark Souls. A world wrought with despair and hope. In the seemingly endless cycle of death, one clean victory becomes a moment you'll never forget. Now you can savor your accomplishments anytime, anywhere, for the first time on console with Nintendo Switch. Before launch, there's going to be a network test so players can try the game. If this will be your first Dark Souls experience, welcome to a brave new world. Separately, the Solaire of Astora amiibo will be released. With it, you can perform the popular Praise the Sun gesture with reckless abandon. Dark Souls Remastered and the Solaire of Astora Amiibo launch on May 25th. How's it going so far? Well, I have a quick reminder. Did you hear that my Nintendo members can now redeem gold points for digital games and DLC on the Nintendo Switch system? Just choose to use your points during the checkout process in Nintendo eShop for Nintendo Switch or on the Nintendo website. Visit the My Nintendo website to learn more. Okay, we have more Nintendo Switch headlines, but first, let's shine a nice long spotlight on one title in particular. Please take a look. An all star roster of Mario series favorites is ready to rally in full blown tennis battles using their most tactical, tricked out shots ever. Mario Tennis Aces. There are more than 15 playable characters, each with their own distinct characteristics. The varied playstyles on the Nintendo Switch system allow up to four players to step onto the court together. Today, we'll mainly cover the essentials of the refined tennis gameplay. There's a variety of shots to serve up, like a basic shot, 
top spin. Slice. And a lob that'll zoom over your opponent's head. Just to name a few. Why not aim and then shoot? Introducing the all-new Zone Shot. It lets you pinpoint any spot you want to aim at using motion controls and send the ball crashing down. Zone Shots are really powerful, so if you get hit by one, your racket will take some damage. If your racket takes three hits, it'll break, forcing you to forfeit if it's your last one. It's an instant KO! But don't give up hope. You can stop a zone shot with a block. Return a shot with perfect timing, and you'll block, protecting your racket. It's no small feat to nail the timing just right. That's where zone speed comes into play. When using zone speed, the world around you moves in slow motion, allowing you to perform incredible feats, like chasing down a quick shot, it's no instant win card, but it makes it a bit easier to block powerful zone shots. Of course, you can't just spam zone shots and zone speed the whole match. You can only initiate these moves by using up some of your energy gauge. The energy gauge slowly fills up the longer you keep a rally going. But the fastest way to fill up your gauge is with the new trick shot. If a ball gets away from you, you can jump over to knock it back. It's a risky maneuver. If you don't judge the timing or distance correctly, you may waste your energy or lose a point. But if you're successful, your energy gauge will get a big boost. Fill up your gauge and it's go time. Initiate your ultimate shot, the special shot. It will eat up your energy in a big way, but this thing can really turn the tide. It may even destroy your opponent's racket in one hit. However, not even a special shot guarantees a win. There's always a chance it could be blocked, so watch out. In these intense matches, every move you make presents a risk and hopefully a reward. Your energy gauge could be the key to victory. Will you use it for an offensive zone shot? or use it for some defensive zone speed. Let's say you go for the zone shot. Will you go for a surefire point? Or will you try to destroy your opponent's racket and run the risk of getting blocked? Non-stop, split-second strategies may be the best part about Mario Tennis Aces. Purists rejoice. You can also play using simple rules, which means only basic shots are allowed. Once you connect online, you can play a match with your friends or other players. Events and online tournaments will be held allowing you to compete against other players. Matchmaking is based on your record during the event. As a participation bonus, you can get special outfits or even additional characters. There's also Swing Mode, which allows you to use your Joy-Con like a tennis racket. Forehand, Backhand, Slice, and Lock. This mode is perfect if you want to play the game casually with your friends and family, or just get your body moving. offers a refined approach to tennis gameplay, focusing on deep strategic chaos. Plus, the story mode will offer other twists to the good old game of tennis. Here I go. Mario Tennis Aces launches June 22nd. Oh, and one last thing. As we approach the game's launch, we decided to hold a pre-launch online tournament. That way, you can try out Mario Tennis Aces for yourself. 
We'll announce the details at a later date, so please stay tuned. We'll have more on Mario Tennis Aces in the future. Let's continue with some Nintendo Switch headlines. Captain Toad is ready to explore other systems. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is bound for Nintendo Switch. Explore a variety of tricky sandbox-style levels inspired by Japanese box gardens called Hakoniwa. You can rotate the camera and touch the screen for a better view of hidden treasures. And this time, we've included a few Super Mario Odyssey levels too. Now you can explore locales from a variety of kingdoms. Check out New Donk City! By the way, did you know Captain Toad also appeared in Super Mario Odyssey? The Nintendo Switch version can be played with a friend by sharing a pair of Joy-Con controllers. While one player controls Captain Toad, the other can assist with things like turnip cover fire, so you can enjoy tracking treasure together. We also plan to release a Nintendo 3DS version with 3D visuals and touchscreen controls. It feels like there's a box garden right in your hands. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker launches July 13th. Hey, who turned out the lights? Gaming icon crashes Nintendo Switch. The impossible isn't possible until it happens. All three original Crash Bandicoot games are debuting on a Nintendo system for the very first time. Spin, jump, and wump through the trilogy's 100 plus action platforming levels as Crash and his sister Coco. Everything from the cinematics to the animations to the lush environments has been fully updated since the original games, so they'll look great on your TV or on the go. Ruin Dr. Neo Cortex's plans for world domination and save Tana in Crash Bandicoot. Form an uneasy alliance with the mad scientist in Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. And stop him in the evil Uka Uka through a battle across time in Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Believe it or not, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is officially making the Wump to Nintendo Switch July 10th. Never fear, Little Nightmares is almost here. From award-winning independent developer Tarzier Studios comes a charmingly horrific adventure like no other. The puzzle platformer Little Nightmares will trap you in the Maw, a vast vessel of mystery haunted by corrupted souls. The complete edition on Nintendo Switch contains two haunting tales in one package. In Six and the Kids' Separate Adventures, you must face their childhood fears across all eight chapters, including all past downloadable content. Each room is a cell, each resident is a threat, and both present complex 3D puzzles to master. Not to mention, you can receive the Nintendo Switch exclusive in-game Paku mask by tapping the Pac-Man amiibo figure. Little Nightmares Complete Edition releases on May 18th. South Park is coming to Nintendo Switch. We're excited to announce that South Park The Fractured But Whole is coming to Nintendo Switch. From the creators of South Park comes this outrageously offensive superhero adventure that you can play anytime, anywhere for the very first time. Customize your avatar. Come on down to South Park and join Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Cartman's superhero team. Then have yourself a time with a battle system as surprisingly deep as the show that spawned. Ah, oh, you just let him hit you! Choose a class, level up, build your notoriety, craft items, go on quests, and more. 
All past DLC will be available for purchase individually or as a part of the Season Pass. DLC 1 Danger Deck and DLC 2 From Dusk Till Casa Bonita will be available at launch. And DLC 3 Bring the Crunch will tell an additional story when it releases later this year. South Park The Fractured But Whole releases on Nintendo Switch April 24th. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition launches when exactly? Let's take a quick moment for a release date announcement. The heroes and villains of the Legend of Zelda series are about to spring into action once more this spring. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition launches May 18th only on Nintendo Switch. ARMS fans, don't miss this! The ARMS League is pleased to extend an invitation to all you hardcore fans out there who have been playing the game, enjoying all the added characters and stages, and going online to play the new Party Crash mode. We're happy to announce the ARMS US and Canada Online Open. Prelims will take place in the game's online ranked match mode from March 8th to March 18th. Eight top players will then move on to the online finals March 31st. All finalists will receive a custom art piece created by the development team. We'll be streaming the event live from Nintendo of America headquarters on our official site. Stay tuned for our social channels for more details in the coming weeks. And if you're not an ARMS fan just yet, well, we have good news. On March 31st, we'll be hosting a three-day test punch. Download this demo event from Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. Play for free and see what you think of the world's stretchiest fighting game. On March 21st, producer Kosuke Yabuki will discuss the development of ARMS at the Game Developers Conference and Hisashi Nogami will present separately on the Splatoon franchise, so look out for coverage of both. Inkopolis News Bulletin, it's update time. This April, Splatoon 2 is getting an update. Version 3.0 is coming. Here's a brief and briny taste of what's to come. 100 new pieces of gear, that means fresh looks just in time for spring. Plus, more stages. Piranha Pit. Camp Triggerfish. And the hottest date spot for the hippest inklings. Wahoo World. And what? Rank X is here. Rank X is an extreme rank. Even higher than S+. More details are coming soon. Once you meet certain conditions, Callie will appear in Octo Canyon. The world of Splatoon 2 continues to evolve, so don't miss out. Now, a word from the Squid Research Lab. Check out their latest video.
Hello, Squid Research Lab here. So, how was it? You just got a sneak peek at the first paid downloadable content for Splatoon 2, the hefty new single-player mode, Octo Expansion. You'll play as the new character, Agent 8, who looks like an Octoling. She wakes up on the platform of a dark subway station without her memories. Looks like some kind of shady underground test facility. In this massive subterranean world, there are 80 of these test facilities connected by a subway. You'll depart from the station with purpose. A variety of missions await Agent 8 and her talents. Expect new stories to unfold, shedding new light on beloved characters. You may think you know everything about the world of Splatoon, but these waters run deep, and so does the lore. Escape from these twisted depths, and you'll be able to join multiplayer matches as an Octoling. We hope you enjoy this fresh perspective. Since Octa means eight in Latin, that means 2018 is the year of the Octoling. Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will launch this summer. After today's Nintendo Direct, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will be available for advanced purchase in Nintendo eShop. With this purchase, Splatoon 2 owners will immediately receive Octo-themed in-game gear to use in battle today. Thank you, Squid Research Lab. Hopefully Splatoon 2 will continue to splatter our expectations. You bet! That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Oh, well, actually, we have one more announcement. Please take a look at our last video for the day.